All right. Hey everyone, so you may notice that I am in a new spot. I am outside of the school to do our activity today because it's going to be important if it's nice out that you do this activity outside to make the least amount of mess in your house, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to grab that bag that has a white sock on it, in it, a yellow bag and a smaller bag, and then the rest of the bag is full of dirt or soil. So we're what we're going to do is I did include this um, ruler that's made out of paper and I folded it up so I could see it. You could also cut it out if you want to. We might be using that, we might not, so bear with me on that. You're also going to want to grab out a pair of scissors and then a permanent marker or a sharpie if you have one. If you don't, you could always use your expo marker. That works as well. You're also going to grab out the um, directions that go along with this and kind of the picture of what it might look like and it might not. So bear with me on that as well. So hopefully I brought all my materials out and if not I might have to run back in school and grab them. So what we're going to do is we are first going to start by taking out our white sock and it's really long okay. And we're going to set that off to the side and grab out the bag with rubber bands. Set that off to the side. If it's windy don't let your stuff blow away. And the last thing we're going to grab out is the yellow bag and it's full of grass seeds. So we're going to set that off to the side as well. We're going to use that in just a bit. So if I'm following my directions, it says fill the sock with potting soil. You want to have enough soil in the sock so that it creates a five inch tall head. So that's why we have the ruler. You're going to find where five inches is. And if you want to, you can draw a little circle around it. So you know for sure, we'll try and get that much, but it kind of is going to be whatever's in your bag. That's what you're using. So if it's not five inches, that'll be okay too. So a strategy that I've found that might work best for this is to close off your dirt bag. Try to get some of the air out. So it's nice and closed. That means it's not going to fall out. And I'm going to find one of the corners at the bottom of my bag and kind of pull it up like this. And I'm actually going to cut off a chunk of that. So I might start with just a little hole, like taking about that much to cut off and trying to not, you know, be safe with kind to the earth and hold on to your scrap so it doesn't blow away. And now I have this hole in my bag. Very important that I keep that at the top. Now I'm going to take my sock and I'm going to unroll it down as far as I can. And I'm going to try and wrap that corner. Let's see if I can tilt my camera so you can see what I'm doing. Tilt or put that corner that I opened up into the sock. And I'm going to try and dump my dirt into the sock. Hopefully this will work. And if not, then we'll try a different alternative. But my stuff is blowing away, so I gotta hold on to that. A little windy today. And I think potentially some dirt's going in there. So go ahead and try and get all the dirt from your bag into your sock. So I'm going to pause my videos to do that and you can do the same and then we'll catch back up when all the dirt is in our socks. Okay, so I realized the best way to do it was to just use my hand and put it into the sock. So I got most of my dirt in there and I'm going to set my bag off to the side so it doesn't blow away. All right, then our next direction says, and kind of when you probably noticed when you were filling it, it got really, really tall. So what you're going to want to do now is you're going to work on trying to get all the dirt down to the bottom. So you're going to kind of, I'll put my camera so you can see what I'm doing, kind of squishing down it. So I'm kind of making it into this kind of below where the heel would go. And I'm just gonna double check to see where I'm at with inches. And if I line my ruler up on my sock, it's like I'm perfect, about five inches, maybe a little bit more, but that's okay. All right, so our next part says, holding onto the sock with one hand, carefully pinch a section. Oop, I missed a step. Use a rubber band to Close off the top of the sock. So I'm going to grab one of my rubber bands out of my bag. Just need one of them. So set the bag off to the side. And I'm going to tie off the top of my sock. So that's just when I'm doing this next part, it doesn't blow away or come out. So I'm going to kind of make mine into a messy bun. <laughs> but you could make yours a little bit nicer if you'd like to. All right, so I've got it tied off at the top. It's not going anywhere. Here is my little sock dude. 
All right, then holding on the sock with one hand, carefully pinch a section in the middle of the sock to create a small ball. This is gonna be the nose. So try and figure out where you'd like the nose to be on your little sock man or woman. You know, I'm gonna say about right here. So I just, I pinched it and then I'm gonna pull it towards me and I'm gonna kind of give it a little twist. I kind of had to set it on the ground to do that. And I'm gonna grab another rubber band and close that off so that it's his little nose. Might have to go around a couple of times to get that spot. And I'm gonna squish him down a little bit so I stay right there. All right, here's my little nose of my dude. All right, so now we're gonna do the same thing that we just did, but for ears. So that's where the other two rubber bands come in. So go ahead and take those out. And we're gonna make ears on our little person. So go ahead and pinch out a spot where you would like their ears to be. So remember, pinch out a little spot and then put that rubber band around a couple of times so then it just stays and it should just stay. Now we're gonna do that on the other side. So give a little pinch and put the rubber band around that. Okay, so now we've got our ears and its nose. Oh, it's looking so cute already. Okay, so we're on number four. Um, now it says remove the rubber band from the top. So we're gonna take off that rubber band. Okay. And we're going to cut off kind of this extra top part. So we're kind of leaving the heel and a little bit extra to work with in case we need that. So go ahead and grab a pair of scissors and you're just gonna kind of cut off that top and set this off to the side. And one moment. Okay, so we cut off the top of our little dude. We still got his ears and his nose and we are going to Carefully place the seeds within the opening of the sock and clinch it closed with another rubber band. So now we're going to grab our yellow bag full of the grass seeds and we are going to put those in the top of our sock man. So you want to do the same technique that you did before. It didn't work with the dirt, but it'll probably work with the seeds. Is make sure you close it off so they don't fly away. And you're going to cut a hole in the other corner. And you're going to place that into the top of the sock and all the seeds should fall in. If they don't, you can always take them out and just set them in there as well. Kind of set those in there. Try to get them all in. If they don't and they fall into your own grass at home, it will probably help with the grass grow. All right, my bag is empty. I'm going to set that off to the side. Hopefully it doesn't blow away. Now it says to... Carefully place the seeds in the opening of the sock and clinch it closed with another rubber band. So I'm going to make sure all my seeds fell into my bag or my little man here. And I'm going to clinch it off again. So I'm just going to the tip of it right there. And I'm going to give it a little twist so it stays a little bit easier. I'm going to figure out where I put my other rubber band. And I will... A bit. It's a little windy out here. <laughs> I am going to close off the top. A couple times around so the seeds don't come out. I think I'm going to give mine a little messy bun, so I'm going to leave that extra. If you want to cut off that extra or make hair, you could, but I'm going to keep mine like that. Got some, some hair. I could cut that a little bit and give it some more texture if I wanted to for their hair but you don't have to. So you can either cut it all the way off, but just make sure that rubber band holds, or you can leave it and hairstyle it like I did. All right, the next part that we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the eyes on the sock and any additional features you wanna give it, like if you wanna give them eyebrows or eyelashes, you can do that at this time too. So go ahead and take out your marker, whether it's a permanent marker or your whiteboard marker, 
and you're going to want to do it the direction that you made the nose. So I'll go ahead and draw on some eyes. And I think I'm going to add some eyebrows. Might be a curious looking dude. Or girl. It could be either one. And then I think I'm going to put a mouth on there too because I want him to be smiling. All right, so here is my little dude. And I think actually I changed my mind and I'm gonna go one more time around. You might wanna ask some help to make this rubber band pretty tight at the top so then it doesn't come out. And I am going to cut off this extra piece because I have a lot at the top of mine. So I'm just gonna cut it a little bit closer to the rubber band. So this is what mine looks like. Oh, it looks so happy. Okay, so the next part is something I'm gonna have to do when I go back into school, so I will do that in just a moment. But you're gonna fill a bowl halfway with water. Make sure you ask your parents which bowl you can use first before you just grab one out of the cupboard. And you're gonna fill it halfway with water and you're gonna set your little dude into the water. And you are going to wait for five minutes. So let him soak for five minutes. And make sure you water daily because you want your little guy to grow. And this is our little sock pail. So we'll see how he grows throughout the rest of the school year. Um, when you water it, remember your seeds are at the top. So you're going to want to water the top of them. And then um, we'll just kind of see if he grows. And if he doesn't, that's okay. But it was fun to do something different with you guys. So I hope you have fun making your sock man or your sock woman. And have a great rest of your day. Bye.